Hello, first graders. This is a special recorded lesson of your in-person lesson that you would have had today if we had had in-person classes. So hopefully you enjoy our little music lesson together. All right, first graders, we're going to start off by patting along with Mr. Cates. Let's do that now. Pat along with Mr. Cates. Now what I want you to do is pat your own pattern. Here you go. And get ready to stop. So my question is, are we together? So when we were doing it first, were we together or were we together in the second part? I'm pretty sure you would notice that we were not together when you were making up your own pattern because I was not with you because I was doing something different. I was doing something that stayed the same. I was steady the whole time. And we're going to talk about what that is today. So I can identify beat and rhythm, and I can sing simple melodies. So here is our first melody we're going to learn today. It's called A Tisket, A Tasket. Let's take a listen. So my question for you is, what color was the basket? That's right, the basket was yellow and green. So a green and yellow basket. So this time, I want you to pat along to the music. Ready? Here we go. So why could you all pat along to the music together? Why was it not just random? How could you feel the, the music and were able to pat with it? Well, that is because of the beat. A beat is a steady pulse you feel in music. It's like a heartbeat. When you feel your heart pumping, it makes it steady and it doesn't change. And it is a beat. Recorded lesson, finding the steady beat. Ah, come in, children, come in. Welcome to the Fix-It shop. I'm Mr. Fix-It. It's a good thing you have come to my shop because I need help solving a problem. I have to fix these two grandfather clocks. They look exactly alike. They are both beautiful, and they both have long pendulums that swing back and forth, and they both play music. Now, the problem is, I already fixed one of the clocks, but I can't remember which one. Here's how you can help me. The clock that is fixed keeps a nice, steady beat. 
the pendulum swings back and forth in time to the music. Everyone stand up and get into a space where you can't touch your neighbor when you swing your arms back and forth. While you get ready, I'll wind up the first clock. All right, this is what I need you to do. Listen to the music from the first clock and swing your arms to the music just like a pendulum. Back and forth, back and forth. Now, here comes the music. Now, I'll play the music from the second clock. Swing your arms back and forth to the music. Ready? That's it! The second clock is the one that is fixed. I could tell because when you were all swinging your arms, your swinging was steady and together. But the music of the first clock, ah, everyone's arms went this way and that way. But when your arm swings were steady, they were following the steady beat in the music. Thank you so much for helping find a clock with a steady beat. Goodbye. So what would music sound like if we didn't have a steady beat? Well, let's find out right now. So music from Bali is the next song we're going to listen to. It comes from a place called Indonesia. Now, Indonesia is a bunch of islands in the South Pacific, which means on the Pacific Ocean, on the other side of the Pacific Ocean from us. So in Asia, where China and Japan and India are. And these are a collection of islands down in the southern part of that ocean. Now, we have all these really rather large islands, but we're talking about this little island right here. This is called Bali. Here we see another picture of Bali zoomed in. Now, Bali is a very pretty place. And here are some pictures of it. We see uh, here's a temple along a riverbank or maybe a lake. Here we see some rice paddies. And then here's a building on top of a rock in the ocean. What a cool-looking place. Now, not only does their landscape look cool and their buildings look cool, but their music is also cool because it's a very unique kind of music called a gamelan. Now, gamelan is a collection of instruments, we can see them here, that all look very different than what we usually see and hear. We see they have drums, that's usual, but we have these weird like pots almost with these knobs on top. We see that they have these metal bars, they have gongs, which we don't usually see around as well. In some cases, they have flutes. That's something that's normal. But the music sounds very different. And we're going to listen to an example of a gamelan right now. And as we listen, we're going to take a look at this picture. And we're going to follow when we hear the steady beat and the unsteady beat. And I'll give you a hint. When there's an unsteady beat, we hear the drum. Or when there is a steady beat, we hear the drum. When there's no drum, there's no steady beat. Let's take a listen to music from Bali.
So that was music from Bali. What I'd like to do now is I'd like to go back to our song, A Tisket, A Tasket, and we're going to learn how to play that song. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to listen to the words, and we're going to listen to the melody, and we're going to try to say the words with the song, and we're going to try to sing the melody with the song. And you can go back and repeat it as many times as you need to learn it, but we're going to do that now. All right, hopefully you enjoyed learning a little bit about the steady beat versus an unsteady beat and also learned about music from Bali because that is some pretty cool stuff. Until next time, go Leopards! <laughs>